men and women are intended to complement each other. Our differences are not supposed to be in competition with each other. They're supposed to bring us together, to make us better. Being a woman is a beautiful thing. And it's the most amazing, fulfilling, miraculous thing in the world to be a mother to your own sweet babies. Feminism that contradicts that and tells you lies and wants you to think that you're a victim is trash. It's a lie. And don't let the Barbie movie brainwash you or pollute your mind. In fact, there was a poll done in 2020. This was a poll done of women regarding their satisfaction with their lives. And this is what it found. It compared childless women to mothers, to married mothers, to unmarried mothers. And what it found is that the happiest women of all are married mothers. And it's not even close. Not even close. By a huge margin, married women who are mothers are the happiest. Look at that right column. Completely satisfied. 38.52% of married mothers say they are completely satisfied. 45% say they are somewhat satisfied. That's not even close. Childless women, only 12% say they are completely satisfied. That's less than half. That's like a third. The happiest women of all are married women who are mothers. And Barbie might be telling you lies, but they're lies. They're not true. Not true at all. So Speaker of the House, Kevin McCarthy, says that all of the scandal that's happening regarding Hunter Biden and his business dealings and whether or not Joe Biden was involved, or at this point, I guess the question isn't whether or not Joe was involved, it's how Joe was involved. Speaker McCarthy says that this investigation is now rising to the point of an impeachment inquiry in the United States Congress. Take a listen to this. So not only do they claim that they were bribed, we now find information that 16 out of 17 payments from Romania were provided to the Biden shell companies while he was vice president. When President Biden was running for office, he told the American public that he's never talked about business. He said his family has never received a dollar from China, which we now prove is not true. We now have some of the most credible whistleblowers. These 10-year IRS agents who have come forward said that the Biden family has been treated differently, that what Weiss has told us is different than what Garland and Weiss has told the public. And you're sitting here today where now you have found millions of foreign money, just what the 1023 alleges they did to Biden's family. Now we found that it has funneled through shell companies. If you're sitting in our position today, we would know none of this if Republicans had not taken the majority. We've only followed where the information has taken us. But and this is rising to the level of impeachment inquiry, which provides Congress the strongest power to get the rest of the knowledge and information needed. Because this president has also used something we have not seen since Richard Nixon, used the weaponization of government to benefit his family and deny Congress the ability to have the oversight. The Biden family runs, if they say, a company but never had an office and shell companies to be able to pay through. But if they really ran it for foreign countries, why didn't you get money from France, from Germany, from UK? Why does it have to be from China, Romania, um, in these countries that have real challenges and had problems going through? I believe we will follow this all the way to the end, and this is going to rise to an impeachment inquiry the way the Constitution tells us to do this, and we have to get the answers to these questions. All the while, Joe Biden's press secretary, Karine Jean-Pierre, she finally changed the verbiage that the White House is using to deny Joe's involvement in Hunter's business dealings, but this change did not go unnoticed. This is a pretty significant change in language to use for this denial. This is what Karine Jean-Pierre said this week about Joe and Hunter. And Chairman James Comer today says that the Oversight Committee, excuse me, has evidence that the president in the past 
communicated directly with foreign business associates of his son Hunter Biden many times. Curious if the White House and the President still stand behind his comment that he's never been involved and has never even uh, spoken to his son about his business. So I've been, I've been asked this question a million times. The answer is not going to change. The answer remains the same. The President ha was never in business with his son. I just don't have anything else to add. Oh, the president was never in business with his son. He was never in business with his son. I don't know about you, but when I heard that, I was like, oh, the White House is scared. Joe Biden is scared because they changed their denial. This is the denial that Joe Biden was issuing, well, in the past couple of years. I mean, this started back on the campaign trail when he was running against Trump. This has been the narrative that Joe Biden has used up until Corrine Jean-Pierre changed it just this week. Take a listen to Biden himself. I have never discussed with my son or my brother or anyone else anything having to do with their businesses, period. Mr. Vice President, how many times have you ever spoken to your son about his overseas business dealings? I've never spoken to my son about his overseas business dealings. Do you stand by your statement that you did not discuss any of your son's overseas business yes, dealings? Yes, I stand by that statement. That was in 2019. A lot's changed, I guess, in the space of four years or almost four years. This, this, of course, is all developing as Devin Archer. Devin Archer is the former business partner of Hunter Biden, who ran these schemes with Hunter. Devin Archer is scheduled to give his testimony to Congress, and he's going to rat out Hunter Biden, reportedly. Reportedly, Devin Archer is set to tell Congress under oath that Hunter Biden put Joe Biden on speakerphone while Hunter Biden was in business meetings two dozen different times. This is bombshell testimony. If this hearing that's been scheduled and then canceled and then rescheduled actually happens, this would prove the president of the United States not only to be a liar, we know that Joe Biden has lied about a whole bunch of things, but it would prove that Joe Biden was involved in corrupt pay-to-play schemes, bribery schemes, where foreign nations that are hostile to us were paying for access to the vice president of the United States or the president of the United States. You bet that rises to the level of an impeachment inquiry. I, I'm, I've never been about impeachment tit for tat. I knew this would happen after the Democrats impeached Trump twice. I thought at the time, I probably said this on the show at the time, I thought, well, now we're gonna have a situation where every single president is going to be impeached when the House of Representatives is controlled by the opposing party. It's gonna happen every single time. I don't think that's what this is though. This is, both Trump impeachments were completely illegitimate. And the first one was based on a lie that Trump was a Russian agent that was absolutely debunked. The second one was based on the disgruntled employee at the White House who disagreed with Trump's policy towards Ukraine both of them completely farce. But this, this Biden impeachment is real. This man shouldn't be allowed anywhere near the White House if he cares so little for the United States and for our safety and security that he would actually work with his son on these corrupt deals where Hunter was getting paid by dangerous people in dangerous countries to get access to first the Obama White House and now the Biden White House. It's horrendous, horrendous stuff. Hi guys, it's Liz Wheeler. Don't forget to watch my show, The Liz Wheeler Show, every night at 7 p.m. on The First TV. You can download the free First TV app or you can visit thefirsttv.com slash Liz and start watching today.